How's everybody doing today? This is Mike with Mike's Homestead. Um, this, I'm out in my family's woods right now, just kind of looking to see what kind of damages from the winter and see if the kids were out here playing. You always find bottles and stuff out here. But another day, a, a fellow YouTube friend, uh, One Simple Jones, he um, made a video on why do we grow our own food. And he wanted to know why people actually grow their own food. And he wanted to do some kind of a tag, but he wasn't quite sure how to put the tags in and whatnot. So he PM'd me and asked me if I could make a video on uh, why I grow my own food. Easy enough. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go for a walk, and I'll describe it as I walk. Well, everybody, I'm going to try to wander my way back up them woods. Um, haven't been out here in a while and I've never seen it retain water down here so I thought it was kind of interesting so I was walking down here to check this out but it was a little bit of a feat so let's see if we can work our way up out of here Ooh, little thorns everywhere make sure you got good gear on well anyways I know there's a path out here somewhere I wandered my way in here <laughs> There we go. Well, a lot of it, my friends, it boils down to when I was a kid. I grew up on a homesteaded farm. My father grew up on like a 13-acre farm that was in the family for about 100 and 100 and some odd years. And uh, they basically uh, suffied life there. And that's how my father grew up. Well... I spent a lot of time living like that, you know, my mother and father actually didn't stay together very long and my mom got remarried to a dairy farmer and um, spent a good portion of my life on the dairy farm. In fact, this is the woods of the dairy farm. <clears throat> and uh, well, the dairy farm that I grew up on was roughly about 200 acres and we actually canned and did our own vegetables here too just for some self-sufficiency. But um, my grandpa actually was a big gardener and I was around grandpa a lot so I learned a lot of my you know, gardening skills from grandpa. But just like any teenager, as soon as I got old enough to move out, I moved out and went on to the bigger things of life, trying to make the big bucks. And, um, you know, I stamped my grounds in the 90s and I did a little bit in the 2000s. And when the economy started to basically crash around everybody, I decided to bug out of it and get out of it while I could. So I did. And I started working from home, and part of my self-reliance is gardening. We started gardening roughly about three years ago. We put another garden in. It was the first time since I moved out of the house that I had, well, there was one other time I had a garden, but the first time I had moved out and did some serious gardening. And um, basically, uh, first year, this is our third year into it, the first year we um, did a small garden to see if, ever, if you know, could actually do it again. And then the second year we did a massive garden, canned, stored, and I'm at where I'm at now. I'm going into the third year of it, and this year I'm planning even doing more to um, sell at uh, uh, farmer's markets. Um, I also try to make sure that my parents get enough vegetables because they don't actually garden anymore. So, uh, And we're not a dairy farm anymore either. We're a beef farm now and my parents just don't feel like gardening. So I, I trade off. I give them veggies and uh, canned stuff for them and they give me meat. So it works out really good. Um, but um, yeah, and we also make sure that our in-laws, we keep them stocked up too. And, you know, we've actually made the garden big enough where we could can everything for us and take care of both families, you know, or at least help out in any way that we can. And, um, you know, so that's a lot of the reason why we garden. But the primary reason is four, three years ago, I wanted to move off grid. So my primary goal is I want to get, I don't know, anywhere from five to a hundred acres, about four or five hours west, northwest of here, uh, where it ain't so cityfied. And um, I would like to go off grid. I've been striving for it. Um, I have a lot of engineering skills, so it's not too hard for me to build and create things. And this is part of the business, uh, my business anyways, is I build uh, uh, windmills and gasification units for people. But, um, you know, so it shouldn't be a big deal for us to create some kind of power or something to do off-grid. But 
the primary reason was for us to move off grid and enjoy life instead of making going to work every day and making these big bucks to pay everybody else to can my food or package my food or to you know what do I want that for I would rather just do it myself I know what I'm getting live off my land and enjoy life a little better but in order to do that you have to eat and the primary reason I'm doing this is to make sure that I can before I put myself in a position where I don't have a choice so that is one of the main reasons why I grow my own food and um, I'm walking to the edge of the woods here and uh, as you can see, this is actually the farm that I grew up on. Um, there's houses over there now. They weren't there when I was a kid. But if you look pretty much everywhere that I can see, that's pretty much our property. And there is the barn. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that is my parents' farm. But, um, so... There you go. That is why I grow my own food. Self-reliance, self-sufficiency, my goal to move off grid and to help out my family. And my um, next goal this year will be to sell more. We did a little, little bit at the farmer's market last year because I was toying around. But this year, I'm going full force into it. So you'll probably see some videos on that too. So, well guys, this is the woods. This is my family's farm. This is where I grew up. This is my stomping grounds. Um, if you guys all, at all, everybody, anybody out there, if you guys, I'm telling you, if you guys enjoy my videos, please comment, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a message, comment, anything, anything. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and work with you in any form, fashion, or way. Um, there's some other people out there. I mean, I know we're kind of tagging us the wrong way, but I got some people in the picker community. I know like one simple Jones, he has a lot of the same friends I do, and I don't know how many of them he tags. So I got some friends in the picker community that I'm kind of, kind of would like to uh, do a shout out to and see if you guys are at all interested. I know this isn't your thing or you're, you guys do more uh, picking and selling and resale videos, but I know a couple of you actually garden. Oops, I just dropped my notepad. And one of them, one of them would be, and if you're at all interested, guys, you can do it. If not, one is Powerful Picker. You know who you are. You know, and I know you were talking about starting another channel on this stuff. I don't know if you did or not. Powerful Picker, if you're interested in doing a, a video on why you grow your own food or whatever else. And I got uh, Brian Nelson. I'm pretty sure I heard you talking about doing some fancy gardening. So I'm kind of curious about your stuff, too. And there's been some other people out in the picking world that have uh, commented and questioned about even uh, small box farming or garden farming. If you, if you guys want to do videos, too, I would be really interested in seeing this. I'm trying to help uh, One Simple Jones out and uh, see if we can actually make a stamp on the world and find out why people are actually growing their own food. So you guys take it easy, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later, man. Bye.